Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Krishna. Okay, today I have come up with a new video. Uh, it's basically how to apply a conditional formatting based on multiple cells. Alright, before looking into that, take a look at my YouTube channel. I have useful videos on office automation, uh, mostly in Excel and uh, Word. Okay, I think most of the cases I have covered here. If you have a doubt, please let me know. Or if you have a question, please let me know in the comments of any of the videos. Okay, also I have this website. It's basically a blog. Check a look at this. You might be seeing some helpful content here. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, you might be knowing that you can apply a uh, conditional formatting based on cells, right? So I'm going to explain two cases. One is, uh, in fact, three cases. One is conditional formatting on the cells where the content and the formatting is on the same cell. The second, let me change that. Okay, here we Conditional formatting and the form condition is on the same. Let me clear everything. Okay, so the first one I think you might be knowing already. So if the value of this cell is, uh, I mean, whatever, change it to something. Okay, okay, the cell value is equal to 10, then format it. All right. Okay, so if I type 10 here, it will become red. Right. So this is cell and the formatting and the condition are on the same cell. Second, so I need to format this based on the content of some other cell. Say for example, I'll take uh, this one or I'll take this one, right? So click here, go here, new row. Select the last option, use formula to determine which cell to format. Okay, so the formula will determine what is the condition on the cell. Say for example, I want to see if the value of B16 is 10, then format this, C16. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click this and then is equal to 10. This is my formula and I will format this this cell right c16 yeah as soon as i type here 10 i will see the green here okay this is the second type where the formula is in different cell and the formatting is on the different cell third okay you need to club multiple cells this is very interesting most of the people doesn't know so these two cases may be common but this one is a bit tricky and you need to consider multiple cells, say for example, one, two, three, four, etc. So for that, you need to club the conditions together by using AND or OR. All right, let me show you. Go to format new rule. Again, select this last option. Now you need to write a condition, right? So in this case, I just said uh, some B16 is equal to 10, right? So before that, I'm going to use a and you can put any number of conditions. So I'm going to take these two cells, right? So if this is 10 and this is so make sure that if it is a text, you put it in a close, in a close. Okay, so here space matters. If put like this, this is different from this. Okay, you should be very careful when you deal with the text. To select the formatting, I'm going to select this. Okay, yeah. So now let's change the value to new. This is. I hope you. So this is how you select multiple conditions in the conditional formatting. So you can uh, have uh, multiple conditions. I just have 
two conditions right i can even have multiple more conditions so say for example i will add one more cell come on um, what can i say i mean it can be very complex okay i'm gonna say it or see if uh, okay let me say come back to this one more condition i'm gonna add department b p t okay no. b p t and uh section right department is b and section is my department is uh, it my section is uh, i will say for simplicity i'll say b yes, section right now the condition is if it is either it department or a section you should format this okay it's a bit complicated when you apply you think you will understand more okay this stays as is right so Listen, don't do your uh, I mean, don't use your arrow case, otherwise, this will be selected, right? So, you use your uh, mouse. Okay, this is equal to it or this is equal to a. That means one of these, right? One of these is true also. Now, one more tricky question. I'm going to clear those, these two conditions, right? They should be AND. So what I'm going to do here is I'm putting AND the entire. This looks. OK, I think there is some issue. Um, I'm not gonna do that. So what now I'm gonna do is I'll change this to this euro. Okay, change this is equal to our this is equal to it comma this is equal to a. Right. So let's format this with the So even if I change this, it doesn't change. Why? Because it's our condition. But if both are wrong, I will have a problem. So friends, that's how it. I mean, that's how you apply uh, conditions on multiple. Uh, so folks, that's how you apply conditional formatting based on multiple cells. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, this is the simplest form of for conditional, I mean multiple conditions. You can club it together with other condition, more complex conditions. All right. So thanks for watching.